Hey guys, my name is Arkane. Welcome to the Academy, where I do reviews, tutorials, and demos of things that I like or dislike. And today, I'm going to show you guys how I got my hair from super black, super regular, to this amazing, outstanding, lavender, silver, platinum hair, whatever you may call it, this hair. And I did it all in the comfort of my own home. And I spent way less money than I did than if I had gone to a salon. It was so easy that it only took two steps. And I'm gonna tell you those two steps right now. Step one, bleaching. Step two, toning. That's it. I do need to put out a disclaimer out there, which is gonna play right now. Warning, I am not a hair professional. I do not claim that the methods discussed in this video are the safest methods. If it is not done right, bleaching and dyeing your hair can be damaging. If you want the healthiest and safest way to get results, please spend your money on consulting and hiring a professional. Now that that is out of the way, and if you're broke like me, and if you like to take risks and are a little bit more adventurous when it comes to your hair, go ahead and stay tuned because this hair has got me feeling myself right now and I want you to feel the same way that I do. Stay tuned. So first let's talk about the materials you'll need. Everything will be listed down below in the description box. For the step one bleaching process, you'll need bleaching powder and a high volume developer like a 40 volume. For the toning process, you're gonna need a lower volume developer and a toner. For the developer, I suggest using a lower volume, like a 20 or 10, but for me, I'm using a 30 because I like the extra lift. For the toner, this is the important part. You do need the Wella Charm 050 Cooling Violet Toner. And of course, you're gonna need brushes, a mixing bowl, and some hair foil. If you don't have any hair foil, just use normal kitchen aluminum foil. So now let's talk about step one, which is the bleaching process. You're going to need the bleaching powder and the 40 developer. For this one, we're not going to use measurements, but we're going to rely on texture when we mix it together. So when we mix those two, we're looking for like a puddingy texture like this. We don't want it to be too thick that it doesn't get absorbed into your hair, but you also don't want it to be too runny where it runs off your head and burns your eyes. So this is the kind of texture you're looking for, gloopy and puddingy. Just remember this part. And we're going to start applying that to the hair. I have the lovely help of Steven here. Um, and he's just going to thoroughly soak the hair in this mix. And I'm, when I say thoroughly, I mean like super. Make sure you get into every single layer of hair. And you see what he's doing here? He's peeling my hair like pages. And he's painting each page thoroughly from root to end. So make sure you work with your hair in layers that's the key thing here work in layers that way you can get every single hair strand and this part he's just doing the front as you can see it looks like it's already soaked but he's adding even more just to make sure that we are completely soaking the hair with the bleaching product and then the one thing about bleaching is that it is enhanced with heat and your body already makes heat by itself so what we're gonna do is we're gonna conserve that heat by using foil what that's gonna do is that it's gonna enhance the heat in your head even more and keeping the heat in and he's just adding a hair cap just to keep everything together because I did go out and watch a movie after this and then we're just gonna apply even more heat from the outside with a hair blower you don't have to do this part but this is just to enhance the bleaching process make sure that I really lift the shade of my hair and after we take off the foil, this is what it looks like. As you can see, we have gone from black all the way up to like a super light blonde hair. And this is after one hour. And at this point, this is when my hair felt tingly and kind of burning, but it wasn't painful. It was just very uncomfortable. So it didn't kill me, but my scalp did feel irritated. So I wanted to wash it off. So after washing it off and drying it, this is what it looks like, super light. Remember, it used to be black, so this is a huge jump after one hour. It's very important to let your scalp rest after this. You can go for 12 to 24 hours, but you have to let your scalp rest because it does get irritated with the bleach. So now let's move on to step two, which is toning. You're going to need the 30 developer or lower and the toner. So for this one, we are using a ratio, and the ratio is one part toner and two parts developer. So one to two ratio. 
after you mix it together and again it's that gloopy texture that's really good for hair not too thick not too thin and watery and then we're just going to apply that to the hair and you'll notice that this mixture does start to turn bluish purple and that's why it's so good for canceling out those yellows and oranges because it's very cool tone so it's going to cancel out the warm tones and make sure in your short hair that's where your hair is most stubborn and won't absorb as much product you want to really rub the product into the short hairs and the roots and you leave that on for an hour after one hour you wash it you dry it and this is what we end up with it's this bluish kind of steel gray steel silver kind of thing and it's really nice and this is what it looked like that exact night after i did my hair i'm being extra here in the party but as you can see it is like this dark gray and this is what it looks like 20 days later it's kind of turned into this lavender kind of bluish silver which is the perfect color i've been looking for and that is all it takes you guys i love my hair so much this is actually like i said before like 20 days after i've done my hair um it's still holding up to its color i do want to give you a very important heads up it does take a little bit of work to maintain this kind of hair you do have to condition it a lot you do have to kind of reintroduce color back into the hair because it does start to fade it's not forever um, but that's after several weeks but if you want a video like that on how I maintain this kind of hair go ahead and comment down below if you want to see something like that but other than that that ends our tutorial and before you guys go I do want to introduce to you a new addition to my family he is very close and dear to my heart I want you guys to meet my dear adobo <laughs> Sorry. Hold up, hold up. I want you guys to meet my dear Adobo. This is Adobo. Um, he is about six months old right now. Um, this is pretty much his YouTube debut. He's a little sleepy right now. Um, but I'm going to ask you guys to subscribe to this channel if you found it helpful. Link down to my social media down below the description. And Adobo has his own little Instagram. So if you want to see that, go ahead and find the link down below. Thank you guys for watching and have a good whatever.